Stuck in a time warp. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I don't know. Let me see. There. No, look that way. <laughs> I look worse. Better? I can't even tell. You're just, I think it's the sunlight behind you. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Get it together, Mike. What are you talking about? I'm fine. <laughs> All right. It's Mother's Day, and Mike and I are, we just got finished eating lunch, and we are going to the movies. Which is gonna be nice, um, but we thought we'd make a quick video about our thoughts on living in a school bus and what we think we will struggle with and what we think we will like and what we think we might like for a little bit and then maybe change our minds later. Um, <clears throat> I don't usually like to watch YouTube videos where the people just talk, but the funny thing is, it's one of the ones that appear to have like all the views and so, so we, we thought, maybe you guys we'll just try it, because maybe you guys, <laughs> maybe people really just, maybe we're like the only people in the whole wide world that like, don't like to just watch people talk. We actually like to see the activities and the progress, but <clears throat> whatever. We'll just give a little bit of video for all the people of YouTube. All right, Mike, what is one thing that you are excited about living in a school bus? Freedom. From what? Debt, stuff, geographical attachment. Yeah. So have you always wanted to move around or you, have you ever wanted to just be still somewhere? I just roll with it. <laughs> Maybe that'll be our new, our new bus logo, just roll with it. I think there already is one. All right, one thing that I'm super excited about living in the school bus is definitely being able to move around a lot. So I'm a child of divorce. My parents divorced when I was really young. It felt like every other year one of them was moving. Uh, <clears throat> then in my adult life, I moved like every year. Then I married Mike and he was military. We even got to live in England for a while, so that was really cool. So we've been living in our current location for what? Three years, but we've been in the state for four years. Yep. And I like have that like itch of like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Okay, what is the one thing that you are dreading about living in a school bus? Nine people and 290 <laughs> square feet. Dogs. And, and cats. And At cat, least one cat. Yeah, at least one cat, yeah. Um, uh, I'm an animal lover, so. I'm dreading maybe those days where it's hot and we don't have a power hookup so we can't run our air conditioner. Yeah, that's uh, real. Yeah. All I'm right. I'm dreading the first time <clears throat> something breaks and I have to fix it. <laughs> hey, but if you don't have the job that you're working at, then yeah, you spend all the time in the world fixing it. Yeah, you could just <laughs> you could just spend your whole life fixing the bus. One thing that I'm dreading, especially as a mom, is that epic sickness that we all get where like everybody needs to be in the bathroom you remember that time, time when we borrowed my parents 26 foot rv and we had five <clears throat> kids and two adults oh at my the gosh fam camp in las vegas nevada on the air force base and there was a stomach flu that went around well and it was so bad because the boys didn't even get sick it was all the girls and how big is your parents rv 26 feet I okay think. so it's a really small rv and we only had four kids at the time and I literally had children sitting on toilets barfing into the sink and it was all, I mean, luckily it was a small bathroom so they could do that. It was a nightmare. So that's what I'm dreading is the fact that when we do get things like stomach bugs and flus, it is going to probably be nasty and I might, <laughs> I might move into a tent that week and then just let the kids Oh, clean up. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what do you think that we haven't thought about? <laughs> oh, way to put me on the spot. <laughs> Tell me what you don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I don't know until I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, we just ate and I got like cilantro on my teeth. Tell me what. Tell me what you haven't thought about. <laughs> <laughs> what a crazy question. 
<laughs> okay, you think a question <laughs> because I'm trying to think of questions. We probably should have wrote down the questions that we're we're gonna answer before no, we did this. No, this is great. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's something that you think we'll get sick of really quickly? Uh, living in the bus. I think that well, the one thing that we're really gonna get sick of is the hallway between the living area and our bedroom. I think we're gonna get really tired of clutter and people getting in the way of that path all the time because it's twenty. Like it's like 27 or 26 inches wide, and it goes for it goes all the way from the triple bunk bed through the double bunk beds to our room. Right, and if you could see our kids now, like they have that kid syndrome where everything overflows. Everything, yeah, out of like it's all even the beds. It's like nothing can actually stay on the bed. It overflows, and then and then the stairs. They just throw all their junk on the stairs and. And Mike and I are like, okay, if you don't pick this up, we're just throwing it away. And I don't know, but that's probably a really good thing because of the like minimalistic lifestyle that we're gonna have to live because, uh, no, keep going straight. Uh, because they're not gonna be able to have a whole lot of stuff. So hopefully, I mean, their chores are gonna consist of like, you have to get up and make your bed because otherwise, nobody can get through here so I think what's gonna be really hard is all of us trying to eat in the bus so I'm trying to plan to kick the kids out <laughs> I'll just kick them out I'm trying to plan a lot of like you know maybe we can like build some kind of park bench or something you know like park picnic table or take a portable table so that we can have more meals outside or maybe I'll do like a boho setup and we'll just all sit on the floor on blankets but have like a platform where the table is like we'll be like really gypsy style or something in there um <clears throat> but that's what I well you know like bohemian style like bohemian like, rhapsody <laughs> you know what? He's really a pain in the butt, and that's what I'm gonna get tired of real quickly. <laughs> it is. I'm gonna be like, you know what? Go get a job. You're driving me nuts. That's what's gonna happen. <clears throat> um. All right. For those of you who want to know what we do for a living, we don't know what we're gonna do when we get on the bus yet. We're just gonna be like, all right. God provide, <laughs> like, provide us something to do. I don't know. We haven't figured that part out yet. I don't know. What do you want to, you want to add anything? Uh, residual income is nice. Yeah. So we do have a little bit of residual uh -huh. income. Mike is a retired vet. Uh, so there's a little bit from that. And then we, two of our children, I'm not going to tell you which two. Two of our children are adopted and through foster. through foster care, and we get a little bit of income from the adoption. Um, but I mean, I don't think that's livable. Like, combine those two things wouldn't be livable because it would all go to food, like all of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then of course gas is gonna cost so much, so. But that's just our little tidbit video because we just got to the movie theater and I want to go watch a movie. Besides, she said it was going to be a short video and it's 8 minutes and 45 seconds long. Right. <laughs>